Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into some exciting developments regarding Iraq and its potential accession to the World Trade Organization, or WTO. Newshound Gur Militia Man recently shared some fascinating insights about Iraq's ongoing efforts to join the WTO. As some of you might know, Iraq has been in the process of becoming a member for quite some time now, and it seems that some significant milestones are just around the corner. Mark your calendars for July 18th at 10 a.m. because that's when Iraq's working party on its WTO accession is set to convene. This meeting is crucial because it represents one of the final steps in Iraq's long journey towards joining this global trade organization. But what does this really mean, and why is it important? Let's break it down. Firstly, the WTO is an international organization that deals with the global rules of trade between nations. Its primary purpose is to ensure that trade flows as smoothly, predictably, and freely as possible. By becoming a member, Iraq would be committing to follow these rules and benefit from them. This includes access to a larger market for its goods and services, the ability to resolve trade disputes more effectively, and the potential to attract more foreign investment. Now, according to Militia Man, while the working party is set for July 18, there are still several prerequisites that Iraq needs to meet before they can officially join the WTO. These prerequisites, or conditions, are typically put in place to ensure that a new member is fully prepared to meet the obligations of WTO membership. These conditions can range from policy adjustments to legal reforms. For Iraq, this likely includes steps to enhance transparency in its trade policies, ensuring the protection of intellectual property rights, and aligning its domestic laws with international trade norms. Why are these steps so critical? For one, they help create a stable and predictable trading environment, which is attractive to both domestic and international investors. For a country like Iraq, which is seeking to diversify its economy beyond oil, this can be a game changer. Improved trade relations and a more robust legal framework can lead to increased foreign direct investment, job creation, and overall economic growth. But as Militia Man pointed out, the exact date of Iraq's succession is still up in the air. The meeting on July 18 is a significant milestone, but it doesn't necessarily mean that Iraq will become a member on that day. The accession process is thorough and can take time, especially as Iraq works to meet all necessary conditions. So, what should we be looking out for in the coming weeks and months? Keep an eye on any announcements from the Iraqi government and the WTO regarding progress on these prerequisites. Any legal reforms, policy changes or official statements will give us clues about how close Iraq is to achieving membership. Moreover, this process isn't just about ticking off a checklist, it's about substantial changes that will impact Iraq's economy and its position in the global trade landscape for years to come. For businesses and investors, understanding these changes and their implications is crucial. In summary, the upcoming Working Party meeting on July 18 is a major event in Iraq's WTO accession journey. While there's still work to be done before Iraq officially joins the organization, this meeting represents a critical step forward. As always, we'll keep you updated with the latest developments, so make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay informed. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time with more updates on this fascinating story.